All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video that is going to be a LR bobbing video. So I've been sitting on these five uh, LR Bojacks and five LR Mighty Masks for uh, a couple of years now at this point. And I decided, you know what, looks like they're just not going to release any more Nimbus medals. Uh, the reason I was hanging on to both of them is because right now I had 21 Nimbus medals. It takes all 21 to awaken uh, Mighty Mask, but then, of course, the Bojack only needs seven. So I decided to hang on to them, and then we're just going to go ahead and Baba the Mighty Masks. The thing about, um, you know, if, if they decide to release more Nimbus medals in the future, and I'll go ahead and hang on to the TUR of Mighty Mask. The thing about this is I have, like, infinite red coin or yellow coins at this point, right? Because, like, I went so deep for LR UI Goku. I went so deep for LR Turles. You know, I got so shafted for the LR Angel Vegeta that I just have so many yellow coins. Like, this is just not going to be an issue whatsoever. So if they do release more Nimbus Mundles in the future, I'll actually care about hanging on to the TUR of Mighty Mask here. And then at that point, I'll just buy the five copies I need of yellow coins. Who cares, right? But for now, we're going to go ahead and bob these. Uh, now, this is the start of the six-year anniversary, basically. So we're going to be bobbing units very, very soon. Probably a lot of LRs from the six-year anniversary. I presume LR UI Goku and LR Evolution Blue Vegeta. But right now, we're not completely sure how the revival mechanic works and all that stuff. But uh, we will see very soon or at the snap of a finger right now for y'all. All right, so the six-year anniversary is here, and your boy went very, 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 very deep to finish off all the units. I decided to be an absolute moron, knucklehead, dummy, dumb, 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 dumb person, and finish off all the units here. Gohan gave me nightmares. Uh, I didn't actually check exactly how many, like, stones gohan himself took but uh it was like 15,000 stones to finish all these units in general just absolutely a nightmare so i just have almost like infinite lrs in my box here to go ahead and baba let's just pick out like all of the agl lr gohans just for example so these all of these were basically trying to get the tech ultimate gohans and i get what is a 16 agl lr gohan seems pretty good but that's why they're going to Baba, because I just flat out do not need them. Or how about LR Buhan? A very, very good unit. Probably still a unit. Oh, what does that say? Let's just get rid of the 17. I didn't even notice them in there. So we have nine LR Buhans. A very, very good unit. Probably still a top five unit, but he's got to go. Uh, I pulled these two right here. This LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and uh, Bojack from, what, my 66 um, stone summon. Get rid of them. Don't need those. Dude, the Super Saiyan 4s, like, I think these units are way better than a lot of people give them credit for. So many people act like these, both Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, aren't even that good. And they're just flat out wrong. The Super Saiyan 4s are absolutely incredible. They got massively helped out by the Link level update, especially if you run them together. A lot of those links, like GT and stuff like that, just work way better. Uh, we got the LR Cells in here. I'm a big fan of LR Cells. Just get rid of them. Get rid of this, these Beeruses in here, and then this guy, and this guy just... Bob of them all. I, I'm very frustrated from this banner. And this is leading us to the true pain. So we have these Goku and Vegetas. Just going to have to say goodbye to them. Like, STR, Goku, and Vegeta. All three of them, goodbye. Probably, in my eyes, the third best unit in the game. And then that leaves us with this. LR Mastered UI Goku. So what is it that you do when you pull Mastered UI Goku? What do you do? When you pull way too many mastered LR UI Gokus, you just feed them into the free-to-play SSR. That's all you do. You just toss five plus of these LRs in, and you get only two super attack raises. And let's go ahead and feed in the other three. And what do we get? Not even enough to make this guy SA-10. So uh, the six-year anniversary of dreams wasn't very dreamlike for your boy, uh, <laughs> I guess, besides this. But I don't know. Goodbye. All right, guys, we're back. So the top legendary summon banner has come and gone. Uh, it was the LR Android 17, you know, slash Team Universe 7. And then, of course, the LR Angel Golden Frieza and Android 17 units. Um, both of them are pretty good. Uh, not nearly on the same level as some of the newer, like, Evolution Blue Vegeta and UI Goku, of course. By the way, these super thank you tickets, which allow you to summon on any of the three banners, I would say very, very good right there. But obviously, Top Legendary Summon Banner uh, gave your boy a lot of spare LRs that we have to now go ahead and baba. 
Um, there's a couple like this Dragon Ball Super Broly right here who I pulled uh, several times. So we can go ahead and bother him. Uh, I do have a CUR. Not only do I have a CUR uh, Rainbow, but I have a CUR Max Link leveled as well. I got to do a video on him. Uh, we pulled a couple of uh, LR Tech Brolies. LR Tech Broly, very good. We haven't seen a new Dragon Ball Z Broly card in quite a while, so potentially for Saiyan Day coming up soon. Uh, this damn Trunks, I pulled him repeatedly. You could go ahead and be gone. Be gone, be gone. Your TUR kind of sucks ass anyway. Uh, pulled a couple of LR Full Power Freezes. Full Power Frieza, unfortunately, right, has only got... Uh, he's just full power all the way through, right? So, you know, can't really use TUR or anything like that. Um, I pulled a couple of LR Spirit Bombs for Goku's again. Unfortunately, he's just Super Saiyan the whole way through. You know, oh, there was another one up here too. Uh, maybe they could have given him a different name at LR, like, you know, Spirit Bomb Absorbed actually in the card title or something like that. Would have been cool. Uh, we got the LR God Goku's. Of course, we can go ahead and get rid of them. I long since have had the TUR Super Saiyan and then, of course, the base uh, God Goku Rainbowed. Uh, and then we just got a random assortment here. Angel Vegeta. I finally have his SSR. Uh, Rainbow, you know, the only base Angel Vegeta in the game. What's unfortunate about that uh, is the fact that they just added him with the yellow coins. I didn't even get a chance to use them. Then again, we just have a random assortment of LRs here, including one of the new LRs. Now, it is funny, just in the process of rainbowing the Golden Frieza N17 right here, not only did I rainbow the LR Universe 7 unit, but I also rainbowed his TUR, and I still have a spare. So I ended up pulling 11 copies of the Int Android 17 before I got my fifth copy of Golden Frieza and the Android 17. I mean, I guess that's not really too shocking, huh? So let's go ahead and bob it the rest of these LRs. Um, and then there we go. There is another LR bobbing video uh, in the works. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and screenshot the poor Android 17 sent straight to hell, a.k.a. Baba. So um, I, I think we'll go ahead and... Uh, take uh, one more banners worth of LRs and baba them uh, before we finish up with this video. So we'll see the next legendary, like the next banner, maybe Saiyan Day might have LRs in the banner because last year I had Gohan and Goten. Um, but it might not be till maybe like April before I finish this video. We will see because right now I'm recording this still during the six year anniversary. Uh, we'll see what happens though in the future. All right, guys. So of course, <laughs> A funny thing has happened. Now, I believe I did not really... So, typically with these videos, right? This is just sort of everything I do. You know, bobbing, LRs, and stuff like that. Um, a couple of things have happened. Now, number one, there was a Goten and Trunks banner. Um, I actually did go ahead and end up pulling so many copies. I ended up feeding a bunch of them into the TUR. I, you know, I'm keeping a copy of the TUR because since the last, you know, section of this video was recorded... We now have the same name update in the game, so where we could use multiple versions of the same name character on a team. So, of course, I decided to rainbow this TUR rather than bobbing the 10-plus copies I pulled of them, summoning for Dokkan, Fest Trunks, and Goten. And then, of course, on this Broly banner. Um, you guys remember Blue, Goku, and Vegeta. Uh, on their original banner, I was over 10,000 stones on the banner with only one unit pulled. So, of course, naturally... Uh, when they return on a big-time Dokkan Fest banner, I pulled a lot of them. Also, there is this new update, which is here in the game, where we can actually trade units in now for coins. So, rather than, bo like, Bob, you know, selling these Goku and Vegeta LRs for Baba points, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and feed them in for red coins. Now, I don't currently have the SSR of this Goku and Vegeta rainbowed, um, but I don't know if I'm even going to keep the SSR. I'm just going to go ahead and baba the 13 copies of Blue, Goku, and Vegeta for now. If I really decide I want a rainbow and hang on to the SSR, I could always just get them later on. Now, with this update, any unit you're pulling from the banner that you have rainbowed, you could just trade them for coins. So I literally, basically at this point now, have infinite, uh, like, red coins and yellow coins and stuff like that. So... I mean, you know, again, if I want to rainbow their SSR in the future, I'll do that. But for now, these 13 copies are getting traded for these 39 red coins right there. A nice little system that Dokkan has added in for sure. Um, all right. So I figure we'll probably go ahead and do one more section here where we will, you know, trade in, uh, you know, LRs, Baba them, turn them into coins, whatever. Uh, I expect probably another summonable LR banner in the middle of April, but uh, we will see.
All right, guys, so we have the next LR banner that I dropped here on JP Dokkan, LR, Tapion, and Minosha. Uh, banner gave me some trouble. I believe it was around 7,000-ish uh, to Rainbow, Tapion, and Minosha, which is not great. I guess I've, I've had way worse, but that's honestly not really that great. Uh, I did pull a number of LRs, and we, of course, will be exchanging them into coins um, rather than trying to get anything else from them. So here's all the LRs I pulled. Honestly, it's not really that many, right? Like, I definitely could have pulled... Wow, dude, like, in, like, 7,000 stones, for this to pretty much be all I pulled, again, is, is really not that good. Like, I easily could have just pulled so many more. Um, some of these characters, I might actually be interested in hanging on to uh, some of their TURs after the same name update. The only two that uh, I really am sort of on the fence about is the LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, um, and then, of course, the TUR of uh, Rosé. Um, those two characters potentially could be okay. I, I think I might actually hang on to them, because both of them, what's funny is they have that exact same mechanic, right? Where they sort of are building up attack and defense with every key, but I do think that would highly limit those characters. But, like, Vegeta is on so many different, like, small category teams. Honestly, Rosé sort of is as well. So I think I'm going to go ahead and hang on to these two. Let me go ahead and lock up uh, that Angel Vegeta and then also that Rosé. We're going to hang on to them. The rest of these characters, though, we can just all go ahead and trade all these guys in for coins. Uh, not him. Because uh, the rest of them really are not that good. Like, Dragon Ball Z, Bardock, a lot of these characters just aren't really that impressive. Actually, Goku, Trunks, and Pan. I... Hmm. Because you know the thing about Goku, Trunks, and Pan is that it's not like Dragon Ball Seekers is, like, the craziest category of all time. I feel like that Goku, Trunks, and Pan, like, holding on to them as a TUR, I think is actually also something I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to use gold coins to quite rainbow them yet. But I might in the future. Um, ah, the Goku Chunks and Pan, they're not the craziest. I think I will hang on to them, though, just because, again, there, there's you know only so few options we can get. So we'll go ahead and Baba, or well, I guess, yeah, I guess Bobbing technically is the correct term here. These characters right here. Uh, again, I could have gotten way more LRs from that banner, but I actually just got really, really unlucky and just got basically really shafted luck, so. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and send all these guys in for yellow coins. I do love this new coin mechanic. Very, very good. So uh, let me know what you guys think uh, of the new coin mechanic of this LR bobbing video. Thanks, guys, for watching, uh, and I'll catch y'all next time. All right, guys, so I'm going to add one quick section to the end of this LR bobbing video. Uh, the dual Dokkan Fest for the GT Goku and Vegeta arrived here. Um, now, I did pull several copies of LR Tech Vegito Blue and LR Blue Gogeta, but I decided to hang on to them with the same name update mechanic now having arrived in the game. However, I pulled many copies of the LR Super Saiyan 4, so we can go ahead and send them uh, four red coins. So we're going to get red coins from those versions, those are the ones we pulled from the stone multis. Now we're going to have to baba the ones I pulled from the free multi summons, so... You know, it is unfortunate to see that you're not able to get coins even from those free multis, but, you know, Baba points, red coins, I mean, it's all useful in the end. So, there we go. There will be the completion of this LR Bobbing video. Thanks, guys, for watching, uh, and I will catch you guys next time.